Mike Schmalt here at GoXavier.com along with Xavier's women's head coach, Brian Neal, and the former Musketeer, Brandon Cole. And we're here after a 64-47 victory over Tennessee Tech. You moved to 5-1 and one on the season, four straight victory, and a big day for Brianna Glover with a double-double, 21 points, 10 boards. Talk about your team's effort. Well, that's a lot of things to talk about there. Mike. I mean, more specific. No, I, th I, th I thought Brianna Glover was was really locked in tonight. Um, she she played like we've been expecting all year and re really shot the ball with a lot of confidence, which she has been doing most of the year, but mainly in practice. But I thought in the, this is the first time in the game she really showed what she's been doing in practice. Just and that's what seniors do. They play with they play with confidence. They just let it fly. They're not worried about making mistakes. They just play, and it's much more fun when a game's like that. Sort of a game that epitomizes her career a little bit. She had she had a steal. She was great at the free throw line. Hit a couple of three for you on the year yeah. so nice to see her coming along here as we get early in the non-conference yeah and, I, and on top of that I thought her defense you know they had a couple guards who were big scorers and it was and then they got a couple big bangers on the inside so we had it was our post job to help our guards guard their two stars and I thought they did a great job of that um, you guys seem to always kind of out rebound your opponents kind of wear your opponents down I think that's got a lot to do with you know your front court depth can you speak on your front court depth a little bit and how you just beat teams up on the boards get to the free throw line draw fouls and things like that well we, we try we got we got a bunch of non post players playing post and we've been beating them up for years trying to get them there so I'm, I appreciate you saying that um, I tell you the, the offensive rebound I think is a couple factors first of all Mark Elon is hampering on them every day about going to the boards and then you, you throw in the fact that a lot of people are playing a zone and so that leaves that you know it's hard to box out when you're playing zone so I think and so we are crashing and I think those two factors are, are paying big dividends absolutely Aliyah Zant gives you eight rebounds on the day, so she hustled up some loose ball stuff. But talk about the luxury of having Imani Partlow in there, seven boards on the day, and that big physical presence is back, and that kind of helps free up Brianna Glover to do her thing. Well, I think what it does is she, there is no let up physically when, when Imani comes in. In fact, she gives you a couple shots, a couple shots, and then she's out, and then a fresh kid comes in. So I love the way she cleans up defensive rebounds. I love the way she gets an offensive rebound here, there, and sticks them back in. She's just a physical presence. The more maturity she gets, I mean, I, I think this, the, the sky's the limit for that kid. I think she's going to be a special player. And, and, you know, she looks big and tough, but Imani inside is trying to figure it all out, and, and which, is, which is perfectly natural for a freshman. But what, what she gives us, I'm just tickled with right now. You're a big guy on the post. Once you get that physical presence rolling and realize you have the advantage, that really pays a lot of dividends for you. I mean, absolutely. With, you know, with post players in particular, it takes time sometimes for them to kind of grow into their body, kind of mature, kind of, you know, get their feet underneath them a little bit. But absolutely, once they kind of figure it out, I mean, the sky's absolutely, absolutely the limit. You know, part low, huge body, huge, nice touch around the rim, nice, great hands, can catch everything. So I expect big things from her. Five and one now in Middle Tennessee State coming up, kind of a signature non-conference game for you. A lot of tradition on their end, and always a solid program when they come in here. Oh, they're they're one of the their top thirty type program every year. It seems like, and we, we know they're going to come in and play fast and be very well coached, and we're going to play an A game to to take it to them. Musketeers and the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders face off here on Sunday. Be back with us at GoXavier.com. For Brandon Cole and Brian Neal, Mike Schmaltz signing off. Thanks for joining us today at GoXavier.com. We'll see you back next time.